Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and I'm going to show you how to implement a custom MIDI mapping within the Bone Box. We develop the project using a computer, and when done, upload the project file to the Bone Box for execution there without further need of the computer. In this example, I'm going to use the Allen & Heath SQ5 device connected to the Bone Box, which we want to control with a Korg Nano Control 2 for the MIDI controller. Of course, any other combination of MIDI devices is possible. You can refer to this tutorial shown for the initial setup of Bonebox with the Allen and Heath mixer. During development, we use Remote Direct MIDI to access the devices attached to the Bonebox. Once the project is final, we use this setup. After starting the project file on Bonebox, we no longer need to use a computer or run Bone MIDI Translator Pro. This is the Allen and Heath page of the Boombox web config. Your SQ5 should already be connected similarly to what you see here. To access your Boombox ports from Bone MIDI Translator Pro, you'll need to open the Boom Network tool and enable the needed Boombox Remote Direct MIDI ports by switching them on as shown here. I created aliases and assigned them to the remote direct MIDI ports that were just exposed. I used the MIDI capture feature to capture the incoming MIDI of the first fader of the controller. I then modify it from a fixed value to any value. I will use this to convert to the NRPN message needed by the SQ5 for adjusting the main left right output level. Since the SQ5 requires 14-bit data and the input data is 7 bits, I need to add these rules to ensure the full output range is available by the SQ5. I do this by duplicating the LSB 7 bits and adding that value to the MSB 7 bits. The output value is then used by the required NRPN message by the SQ5. The NRPN requires MSB property is 0 and LSB property is 64, with the newly defined output value that we store in the local variable QQ. We now move the fader to ensure it is working. We save the project file in preparation to uploading it to the bone box. In the BOM Network tool, click on the world icon for the BOM box to open its web config in the browser. After logging into the BOM box, go to the MIDI Translator page to upload the project file. You will need to assign any unused aliases if they are not already defined. Don't forget to press Save. Now we test to make sure that it works with the mixer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit us at forum.bohm.com.